So anytime I go into a town, I always try to look at the monuments and see what's going on there. This says, erected in loving memory by the Hot Springs chapter of the United Dollars of the Confederacy. And it says here, National Historic Register. Let's see if I can see a date on it. The light is really bright on there. I cannot see a date, so I don't know how long it's been here. But this is a Confederate monument here in Hot Spring, 1861 to 1865, which is, of course, the Civil War, the name that we know. When I was a kid, I thought it was the Silver War. And it says this was erected in 1934, wow. And it was placed on the National Historic Register in 1996. So this thing has been here a while. Statue erected in 1934. That was a year before Elvis was born. That was put here in Hot Spring, Arkansas. Hot Springs, city of water, foliage, and flowers. And I keep calling it Hot Spring. It is Hot Springs. Anytime I come to a city and I see an old train depot, it always gets my attention because there's always cool history around a train depot in any town. They call this the transportation depot here now. And it has something to do with the city. Let's see what it says. The irony of bicycles not permitted inside of the transportation depot is palpable, friends. <laughs> it says building hours or that. I really don't know what this is or what it does. But I bet you that I'm going to find some cool history related to this building. Let's take a look around. See, it doesn't really say what's going on in this building on either side. It does say this place has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places, Department of the Interior in Arkansas Heritage. So let's take a look here. This is where you would buy the tickets. Train tracks would have been down here. There's no train tracks anymore, but part of the top is still there. But I'm gonna research and see if I can find anything. Love the way this looks. Oh, it says this is the stormwater division. So this has to do with stormwater in the town. Hmm. But that is the where the depot would go down there. Train tracks would have been on both sides of here. There would have been another roof like this there. And there would have been tracks. It looks like about four tracks. So let me see if I can come up with any history. Stay tuned. So friends, I did find some interesting history. And that is this man right here, Cy Young. For decades, the Missouri Pacific Railroad Depot was the bustling transportation hub of Hot Spring. Hot Springs, of Hot Springs. On February 24, 1938, legendary pitcher Cy Young received a triumphant reception here upon his return to the Spa City. Young, who won 511 games as a pitcher and still holds a major league record that still stands, trained in Hot Springs many times. I keep leaving that S out of Springs, Hot Springs. But yep, Cy Young came here and had a a huge reception of people going, man, I love what you do. And that happened right here. Yeah. I love history, friends. Yes, indeed I do. And that is the hotel I'm staying at, and that is downtown Hot Spring. The bath rows, if you go over one block and go down there, the bath houses are on the right. So this is a monument right outside the train station here as well. It says United Transportation Union. Hot Springs, Arkansas is recognized as the birthplace of the United Transportation Union, 
This monument is placed to commemorate the formation of the Union. Members name here on from the four veteran rail brotherhoods, and I don't know those, met in this city and drafted a unification agreement and constitution. These documents were signed August 16, 1968 by these men and became effective January 1, 1969. That was Charles Luna and that was the first general secretary and treasurer, J.H. Shepard. The railway, that's the order of railway conductors and brakemen, brotherhood of locomotive firemen and engine men, the brotherhood of railroad trainmen, and switchmen's union of North America. And this was erected for them. Pretty cool stuff. It says progress through unity. So this is downtown Hot Spring. At night. So this is the main drag in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm calling it Main Street, but I don't think that's what it is. I'll see if I can see. There's Spring Street. This is Central Avenue, which would be Main Street. I'll just drive you down and let you take a little look, see. That is the Mountain Valley Spring Water Museum. Right there. Which, as you know, I, I now have Mountain Valley Spring Water at the museum, the dojo, if it was open. Which, at this point, I don't know whether it's open or not. That's the Arlington Hotel. That vehicle was ridiculously loud. Wow, it was loud. So loud it made me mad. If I could have popped the guy with his muffler, I would have. Yep, just taking the muffler and just cracked him across the skull. All right, I'm gonna stop at this little park right here and see. I'm gonna show you that water in there. Stay tuned. And this is Bathhouse Row starting down there. Goes all the way to that end. And there's naturally occurring hot water coming out of the mountain, out of the springs behind these places. And when I say hot, I don't mean warm. I mean literally hot. Those two people are drunk. I'm going to go back here and see if this water is warm or hot to the touch. You can see we're kind of in a valley. Let's go and see. Now, this water is cool. So, there's some places that it's hot water. Some places that it's cool water. Hey, bud. This dance is for you. Sculpture. But you could see, but you could see here where there used to be a, an open door there or something of that nature and there was also something there and they bricked it in and you can also see where there was a roof you know
stud sticking out from that from another building, so there was a building where we're standing at one point. And this is showing the different things that's happening here. We just saw the the magic show right there, Maxwell Blade, Death of a Salesman, Music Festival there, Hot Water Hills, which is a music festival, I guess. Hillbilly Casino. I don't recognize any of those bands. Da Amadeus. Spacon, which is happening now. Grand Fondo. This is a Dare Park. Kenneth Adair Memorial Park. And this says Kenneth Adair Memorial Park, dedicated to the memory of Mr. Kenneth Adair. He died in 1988. One of this city's foremost black statesmen, Mr. Adair, devoted his life in service to the disadvantaged in achieving equality for all Hot Springs citizens. Central Avenue, Historic District. He was born in 1904. Lived a long time. 84 years old. And they have evil oils here and vinegars. breakfast. I ate breakfast here when I was staying at the Waters, which is right down there. Remember that was good. Actually, I'm telling you wrong. The Waters is right down there, beside the Ohio Club. Really nice place to stay. But Lori and I go inside this bathhouse. Stay tuned. And here they have the Gangster Museum of America. And they even have gangster hats in there that you can buy. The Hatter. I got made Hot Springs National Park. The Gangster Museum. It's funny. I like it. Themed. I haven't been in there, but at some point I'll take, take a look see. But what I wanted to see was this. I think this may have appeared in another video, but it's worth going over again. It says bathhouse row. The health benefits of taking the baths were a primary reason for baseball coming to Hot Springs. The players tended to drink heavily and believed the hot bath regimen could boil out the impurities in their system. The Buckstaff, still in use as a bathhouse, was built in 1912 and hosted many prominent players. The 1915 Fordyce Bathhouse is now the National Park Visitor Center. Tours include the gym where many players trained and. Lori and I went in there, so we're going to check it out. And they're saying that this one is still actually in use. And I have never actually turned and gone up behind these buildings on the right-hand side. To the left, it's open, but to the right, I want to see what it's like up here. So let's go up and take a look. And you see what I'm saying? It's literally uphill. And when I film at night, I have some people going, well, this has been a lot better during the day, but you know what, guys? There's only so much daylight. Sometimes you have to film at night. So this is going to be overlooking the back of the... Okay, and it's also overlooking the insane asylum, which is right there. So I turn back around. I'm going to go down. And I'm trying to figure out what this is on my left hand side here with the orange lights. Kind of a crazy looking old home. And it says, there's a sign here, it says, Ladies of the Court, established 1895. I don't know what that means. Too bad it's so dark. So this is behind these businesses. So we're gonna turn left and go back behind here. So there's businesses back here. So when you're on the main road, just know there's other places behind, like the Vintage Emporium. There's parking back here. 
I saw a pizza place back here somewhere. It was on a one-way street. See, there's Central. Yep, there's a pizza place right up here. It's called Grateful Head Pizza Oven and Beer Garden. So it is at the at the end of Bain of Central. It's just up a one-way street. And the only one way is going away from it. So you have to come down another street to get there. Something that I wanted you to see. And I showed it in another video, but I didn't show it during the daytime. I showed it, at, or I didn't show it at night, I showed it during the day. It was right here. Park, stay tuned. And they were having the Blues Fest right there. This is Central Avenue. And they've already got the stage down. No, the stage is still there. It's right there. Or no, that's tables. It's not a stage. No, I'm telling you wrong. I think that is a stage. I don't know. How about if I just say I don't know? But you can see it's not hot outside, but it's not cold either. It's about late in the high 60s, and you see how much smoke is coming off this naturally occurring water. This water is naturally occurring out of the earth right here. And when you touch it, it is hotter than you think it's going to be. It's hotter than I would have a shower, I can tell you that. Hotter than I could stand a shower, and I like a hot shower, at least I thought I did. But when I'm telling you the water coming out of this thing is hot, I am not joking. It is hot, hot. But that is natural occurring. That's why hot spring is here, or hot springs. It's hot springs because there's more than one. Hot Springs, Arkansas, friends. Nice place to be. Spa City is what they call it. And you know what? When you're the spa guy, you want to be in Spa City, right? Yep, it's actually 73 degrees outside. And you saw how much smoke from the temperature difference was coming off of that water. So... Another observation here, friends, is that I really don't see any heavy police presence. This is evidently a pretty safe city. Those little boxes with the blue lights on the top of them and all that stuff you see in cities that are not safe, I don't see those here at all. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. We'll head back to the hotel and get some shut eye. And we're heading to Memphis tomorrow. And we're staying at the Pyramid, which Miss Lori loves. You know that. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.